So the next few days are going to be really warm. They're a little cloudy, but they're going to be warm and really nice to spend outside. So I'm trying to get a few things done with this porch. I mentioned on my last video that I wanted to paint this door to match the shutters in this beautiful, beautiful dark green. So I found the old paint can in the garage and I we went to the paint store and we matched it. We were able to get the exact color. So we're, I'm going to paint this door and hope that it, I'm hoping that it looks good because the shutters look so beautiful, but I feel like the door could use a little bit of color and then um, add a few accessories to the door, like a vintage knocker that I have. Oh, I'm going to paint, or I'm going to build this jasmine trellis. I think I've decided on jasmine. to probably measuring to make sure that it's going to hang at the perfect height adding chain hooks up to the top there so i just added a little starter hole 12 inches in from each side and then four inches like from the back so that is where we're going to hang the upper hooks and then the chain and then the, the top hooks are right here or the bottom hooks, I guess. And that is how we will secure it from this, the top. What are you doing? This is what we have to kind of hang it securely. Just a white chain that we got at Home Depot. Okay, here is what it looks like hung up. I think it looks really good, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out if I should put one jasmine in one planter or two in one planter. And then kind of, I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out. I might try roses in this one, jasmine in this one. I don't know what that would look like in the end. I absolutely love how this turned out it might need some more screws and just like over time as it gets heavier i don't know it might need a little bit more securing but for now it is in the planters and this part is resting on the planter the planter so i have some jasmine i also planted a little rose on each side i don't know if that'll work i think the jasmine might just overtake it completely but I just had um, some extra rose climbing plants, so we'll see how that turns out. But, oh my gosh, I love this. I cannot wait to see it bloom. I can't wait to see it just like fill in. All right, I made myself a nice little drink. This is Super Latte by Beam. It's a coffee alternative. Um, normally I use their watermelon flavored just core blend, which is, it has like ashwagandha, um, mushrooms, vitamin B6CK, magnesium, and it tastes so good. It's very summery, it's very summery. But today I, this one has one third of the caffeine, uh, one third, of the amount of caffeine that a normal coffee cup has. So I don't know if I mentioned this on YouTube before, but I, about two months ago, cut way down on caffeine. I just felt like by two o'clock in the afternoon, I was so sluggish. I've always really had anxiety, but it was more intense than usual. And I just wanted to get back to a normal level of anxiety. Um, but every now and then, if I do want like a latte, this super latte, I don't add sugar, I don't add creamer, it, and it has this creamy, delicious taste that these like mushroom coffees or coffee alternatives usually don't have. And this one I really like. So um, it's supposed to give you more sustained energy, which I have definitely noticed, um, and also just make you like more focused, which I could always use. Really, this this week is not a great sleep week for Brooks, so it's not really a great sleep week for us either.
but there's still a lot to do. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra energy and I put ice in it. So it tastes like a iced latte. It's so good. That's what it looks like. I'm excited to be partnering with Beam. They gave me a code. It's pretty in the pines. If you want to try out any of their blends, they are so delicious and they have something for any type. If you're looking to sleep better, if you're looking for more productivity, they have something, they have something for you. And we're going to finish this door. I have a call in one hour. So I will leave a link to this. They do have like a subscription plan that has perks. If you want like a, fro a frother with your order or free shipping, I really love that. So thanks to Beam for partnering and we will go get started. I recently had a food sensitivity test, which I'm still waiting for the results. I've never taken something like that. I've always wanted to, and I've always known that I do have food sensitivities, but I've just never taken the initiative to actually go get a test done like that. So I saw a doctor who recommended it. And he also mentioned that like anxiety could be coming from, could be related to my gut health. So I just want to kind of roll things out. All right, I'm going to go finish painting the door. I just love a mid afternoon drink. Nice pick me up. I'm taping the door with some painter's tape because I am going to go ahead and paint the door. This is the color. This is the color supposedly that the shutters are. And I would say it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. Those need to be probably washed. There's some pollen on them. I also think I might remove this. It's a little gold. It's very shiny. I don't know. I know it's supposed to protect the door. I might replace it with a new one. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. I'll take it off, paint the door, and then see how I feel if I should uh, put it back on. But yeah, that is the color. And this color doesn't have a color name, but I will show the paint, like, I don't know what the coating. I did go to Home Depot first and I showed them the old can of paint and they sent me to Lowe's. And then Lowe's sent me to Sherwin-Williams, like the store Sherwin-Williams. And Sherwin-Williams was able to get the exact color. So I would say if you're looking for this color, I would take these specific codes and go to a Sherwin-Williams store because there is no name. It's like a custom shutter color that either the owners before us or the owners before them found. And it's so beautiful. I'm very excited to get the store painted. I'm gonna have to fill some holes. There's some like holes that need to be filled. There was a welcome sign right here. And then some other screws that probably need to come out so that I can just start fresh. All right, we have, well, the new paint, the old paint, the exact same, supposedly, it looks so blue in this lighting, but once it's on the door, it does look a lot darker and it does look like that. So hopefully it turns out okay. Here we go. definitely a trust the process situation. You got to trust the process, but it's getting there. I can see the potential. It's just going to need, it's so dark that it's definitely going to need like a good second coat. out my favorite paintbrushes again. I love this kit. It has so many different types of brushes that makes painting way more enjoyable, way easier. So I'm going to start using one of these. I'll probably, yeah, just do one more coat. It's a new day. This is what it looks like all dried. What do we think? I still think it needs something. I think I need to sand, go in and like sand some areas, repaint it because it's just, there's some little areas that don't look as even, but this is what I'm going to add. 
red. <gasps> it's so pretty. And then I still cannot get over this. So my next step, I need to go get some more dirt so I can actually plant these plants. And then once I add all these planters around the door, I think it's going to look so, so good. planted a little mixture over here with daisies and something else and the door is looking really good I think I do need to do one more coat because there are some areas that feel that look a little uneven to me I added a whole variety around here same over here and then this is growing pretty quickly honestly I like it um, just got one of these in the mail. Super excited to try that. We decided to paint the door one more time. Same color, just a different finish. This is satin and we also used a roller this time because it was just looking very uneven. And so I think this looks way more even, but now it's looking so much better. So much better. So the door knocker will go right here. Right here. Gotta make sure it's even. 